Welcome back to Money Moves. I'm your host, Jackson Klein. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the 10EP Full HD 8-Man Dash Cam. Let's get into it. The 8-Man Dash Cam goes for around $45 on Amazon. Uh, if you want to look anywhere else, it'd probably be either a little bit more, a little bit less. That's how it always is. Now, the features of this dash cam, uh, it is hardwired, so you do have to plug a cable and run it all the way down your car. Uh, I'll show you how I did mine real quick. It also comes with a piece of paper that shows you how you can route it. So normally it says run from the cigarette lighter and then all the way up the trim, down the windshield, and then back. Now the dash cam does come with full HD 1080p or if you want, you want to do lower quality videos, you can do 720p and save yourself some storage on your micro SD card. Now the max amount it could take on the SD card is 32 gigabytes. Okay, let's go over some of the features of this camera. So up here, you have the top. So this piece actually intersects with the suction cup mount that goes to the windshield and then this is your power. On the side here, you have a couple buttons. You have an OK, this is like a mute button, and then you have a lock. So in the event that you want to lock your SD card, which takes a micro SD up to 32 gigabytes, you just hit this button and it can't record anymore and it'll keep those files safe. On the other side, you have up and down buttons as well as a menu. Then on the other side, you have the power button. You're just gonna click and hold that. It should turn on. Okay. So now we have the camera. So if we go to the menu, we have resolution, so you can use up and down to select. Now there's also another menu where you just hit the menu button again and it comes back. You hit it again one more time and it turns off. So you're gonna click this, resolution. We're currently in 1080 full HD. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Loop recording. So loop recording is when your camera runs out of space or your SD card, it'll delete the previous one and record a new one. Wide dynamic range, uh, you can just leave this on. Exposure, of course, you mess with all this. Motion detection, uh, I just leave that off because you need a certain device to tell when something walks in front of your car. So if you're parked, it'll immediately start recording if it detects motion in front of the car. Audio, uh, you can leave that on, off, it's really up to you. I'll turn this off. Date stamp, so you just adjust. Um, so if you want to record, you can put in the date stamp where it'll tell you what day it is and what time gravity sensor uh, this is another one so basically when your car hits bumps um, if it's seriously a hard bump there's a chance in which your SD card could have some of the files erased so what this does is I set it to low so it's not too sensitive but if you have it at high it's very sensitive so if your car gets bumped it'll lock the files parking guard uh, these this is one of those things where the camera will turn on like I said earlier you know, record footage if something passes in front of the car if it feels a vibration. Headlight warning, that's just if, you know, your headlights are off, it'll tell you. Uh, let's go to the next menu. Date and time, you just set that as normal. So today is March 16th. Auto power off, uh, I keep this on one minute. So basically all it does is just turn off the screen. Uh, beep sound, that's basically what's happening now. Startup, I mean, that's really up to you. Language. Uh, frequency, screensaver, which I don't really think matters, but I just keep it like that. Car number, uh, that is actually your license plate number. Uh, I will not show that, but basically you go in and you can enter in, I think about to seven numbers. Uh, format, so this is just, if you want to delete all, everything on the card. Shall not be doing today, and default setting, just leave that version, okay, then there you go. Okay, overall, I give this camera a five out of five. Uh, some of the stuff does look dated, like the menu. Of course, there's other dash cams out there that you could probably wirelessly hook up, but for the price, I think this one's fantastic. I give this out a five out of five. If you guys are looking for a dash cam, I highly recommend the Ape Man. Um, but of course, others out there, you guys can do your own research, but if you don't want to, and you're looking for a cheap solution that'll get you day to day, highly recommend this one. I'll see you guys next time.